So I want to show you more on Bash. Let's take a look here. I'm going to go over to my box. I want to show you something. What if I do an echo one plus one? See what happens here? It doesn't show you two. It doesn't understand what this one plus one is. It just displays one plus one because that's what you told it to, to do. However, if I do an echo with two parentheses, one plus one, it shows me the result is two. If I change that to one parenthesis, it says, I don't know what one plus one is. However, when I enclose it in two parentheses, it takes that as a variable and displays me the value. I can also do this. Instead of parentheses, I can do brackets like that, and it displays me the result. What if I did division or, you know, fraction like this? See, it shows zero because it only shows integers. If I do echo three-fourths and I do like so, now it displays a fraction. Okay. Now it displays a fraction because I actually wanted to display uh, the, um, I'm displaying a fraction, a fraction value. I'm going to show you something else. What if I changed to a directory that didn't exist and I wanted to find out that I indeed went somewhere, a value that didn't exist? I can do this. I can say echo, um, I can do echo dollar question mark, and that returns me a value of uh, zero or non-zero. Zero is going to mean that uh, the command succeeded. CD forward slash da da means I tried to change to a directory that doesn't exist. That's why this result was a one. However, if I do CD to a present working directory or print working directory, and I send that out, this dev null, by the way, means that I send the output of this to nowhere. And if I display the return value, you can see that it's a zero. And zero means that this command right here succeeded because I changed in this particular instance to a directory that exists. The other thing that I want to show you in here is uh, I want to show you, um, see, string ops, string ops. And I'm going to do bin bash. And I want to show you how this works. I'm going to do s1 equals string, s2 equals string with a capital S. And I'm going to do if, uh, if dollar s1 equals dollar s2, then Echo is equal, else, actually I'm going to end this, fee, you know, I'm going to do if, s1, and I'm going to do a not equal to s2, then echo not equal, save this, change mod string ops, string ops, okay. see it says not equal. If I do a cat string ops, this is a capital S, this is a lowercase s and this is a capital S. All right. This is equal and exclamation equal is not equal to. So this is displaying not equal to. I can also change this around obviously by including a an else statement instead of doing a uh, another if like that and run this oops maybe I should just do an else not else if there you go and it just says not equal to and the reason for that is because I just displayed it so if it's equal then it's gonna say is equal otherwise it's just going to say not equal. So let me change this around. Let me change this to a lowercase s. Now it's equal because I've got both of these are identical. Okay, that's doing a very, very simple uh, string comparison. 
All right. Um, there are also a few things that you need to see. Um, I want to show you. I want to show you a few other things. Uh, I'm going to do a very simple um, renamer here. I can write a script inside of Bash that will rename files because I can pass directory structure. Um, I'm actually going to show you a few other things here. Take a look. I'm going to do nano renamer bin bash and I'm going to do criteria the first criteria rematch the second criteria replace with the third criteria for i in ls based on what I'm looking for that anything in the directory structure I'm gonna begin my loop I'm gonna do source is my file target is going to be echo I and I'm going to do a string replace using my streaming editor. Rematch, replace, and I'm going to do move from source to target to done. And I'm going to save this. And I'm going to do change mod plus x, renamer. And I'm going to do a my empty file thing. So I'm going to do renamer, my empty file. That's what I want to look for. And um, it's going to be ef2. And I'm going to replace it. I'm going to do my empty file. Yeah, let's take a look. See it? It took all the my empty files and replaced it with rm2. Everywhere where it saw my empty file, it replaced it with an rm2. And that was a very, very simple file renamer. Right. It's looking for my empty file. What do you want to, uh, what is your criteria of looking for? In this case, I'm looking for my empty file. And what do you want to replace it with? I replaced it with rm. So it did a search okay, and a replace, like so. And then it simply moved uh, the source file to the target. And this target told it what the new file name would be. I use said, which is the streaming editor, to do an edit. I basically did a search and replace. I looked for, uh, you know, my empty file, and I replaced it with rm. Right. So it's actually very cool. Let me show you what this thing turns out to be. If I did echo rm2, for example, and I did sed, uh, search for RM2 and replace it with RM3. Watch what it comes back with. See it? It looks for RM, it changes RM2 to RM3. That's really where this comes in. This $i is a current file that it is working with. So it's very, very cool. Uh, I, if I ended up looking for James and I search for James and I replaced it with James 23. It'll just rep it'll instead of uh, saying James, it's looking for James and it's replacing it with James 23. That's why James 23 is what shows. And that's why in the target, the new name is stored because of the streaming editor command.
very easy to replace a large set or a large number of files. You are also able to, you know, just make sure that you call uh, bin bash. Um, I'm going to show you this. If I do nano, um, let's see what I've got. Nano, hello world. I'm going to do an X. Hello world. Look, all I did is um, I did a hyphen X. Okay. And uh, when I did a hyphen X, it said this is what it's going to run this line. And it displayed, okay, it displayed hello world. And then now here it says it's going to run this line and it displays that it's running. So this can be helpful for troubleshooting. It's kind of a simple way to debug, uh, maybe nothing fancy. But if you just put the hyphen X, it will tell you what line it is executing. And you can see the result of that line. So you can determine if there's a problem. And of course, you can attempt to fix that problem. Right? So hopefully you've had a really good comprehensive introduction to Bash. You've seen how Bash works, how scripts are created, how functions are created, how functions are called. And uh, you notice how you can read values, have menus. So I'm trying to give you an, a comprehensive introduction to the Bash scripting. I'm glad you're here.